Smell smoke. Are they using gunpowder? They've completely blindsided us. It appears that everything else they've done today was to serve as a decoy, even making the tanks go haywire. Right. It looks like their real target was the railway guns all along. Which means they must be serious about targeting that trade conference at Crossbell City. They wouldn't. How can they possibly sink? So, they're intent on taking the Chancellor's head after all. Resorting to such wanton violence? This is absolutely outrageous. Please, let us help. 
We don't know if reinforcements are on the way, and it doesn't look like we have much time left. We have to stop them before they can activate the railway guns. Green's right. I don't know how much we can really do, but considering the alternative, we have to try. Right. We're about to let those terrorists have their way. <sighs> Looks like any attempt to convince you otherwise would fall on deaf ears. All right, Green, you and the rest of Group A are with me. Group B, you'll be under the command of Major Nighthunt. One group will secure the gun in the right wing. The other group will secure the left. This is an actual combat situation with real lives at stake. I expect the best from each of you. Yes, sir! All right, Class 7. Our objective is to stop the activation of the railway guns. We've learned a lot at the Academy. It's time to put that knowledge to the test. Understood! Here they come. <gasps> they look just like that thing we fought during our field study. Mechanical monstrosities. Save the talking for later. We need to take these things out. Got it. Wins. Give us your blessing. My turn. Chance. And 
my turn. Same as the one we fought outside the Graham. It seems a large number of them are on the loose inside the fortress. I'm guessing that's what got the soldiers we just saw, too. It seems so. So these are Archaisms. Are you certain, Instructor? Yeah, they're a kind of autonomous weapon made by a rather unsavory group. And a real pain to deal with, too. We need to hurry, but keep your wits about you. Understood.
It's a fight they want. My turn. Leave it to me. My turn. Lights out for them. Good work.
Bring it on! My turn! It's my turn! Now! An opening! My turn! Evil will fall before my blade! Crossbell stayed on the other side. There! Those are... The railway guns. They're enormous. Damn! How'd they manage to get them prepped so fast? Don't tell me they're just gonna let him rip without even setting a target. Instructor! Well, they're certainly not shy about bringing out the big guns. Damn it! We don't have time for this! We need to take these things out fast! Right there with you! Let's send these Cretans to the scrap heap. It's a fight they want. Leave it to me. My turn. Archers, activate. Leave it to me. There! Now! An opening! Right! Huh? Huh. 
Leave it to me. Self-destruct mechanism. Does the cowardice know no bounds? We're running out of time. I'm gonna go on ahead. Follow me as soon as you're sure it's safe to...
The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This train is bound for Bereahard via Keldic. The next stop is Trista. Trista. We will be stopped at Trista for one minute. When disembarking, please ensure no belongings are left behind. No Salino flowers? Never seen so many all blossoming at once. <gasps> Ouch! Whoa, sorry about that. Are you okay? I should have picked a better place to take in the scenery. attention to where I was going instead of gawking at the flowers. It's really a pretty town though, isn't it? Just like a postcard. Yeah, I guess that's the magic of springtime for you. I hope everything in your case is okay. Oh, don't worry about that. It'll be fine. Hey, you've got the red uniform too, huh? Yeah, but now that you mention it, almost everyone else on the train had a green jacket. You're one of the few I've seen in red. I didn't really think about it until now. I just put on the uniform they sent me. I hadn't given it much thought until I got here either. But yeah, like you said, there have been a few others sporting them too, so I doubt it's a mistake. Maybe it means we'll end up being classmates. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I should get going. I've got a feeling we'll see each other again at the entrance ceremony though. I totally forgot to ask your name. Oh well, I'm sure we'll run into each other later. She's right though. It is weird that there are so few of us in red. Are there even enough to make a class? That ordman they sent with the uniform is pretty strange too. It sure looks a lot fancier than your standard issue ordman, that's for sure. I guess there's no point in racking my brain over it. Someone will probably explain it during orientation. Thor's military academy is on the north side of town. 
I've still got some time to look around before the entrance ceremony, but it'd be pretty awkward to be late the first day. I shall take my leave here, milady. I pray you find victory here in both your studies and your training. Thank you, Klaus. I'm leaving everything in your hands while Father is away. Understood, milady. Please excuse my rudeness, young sir. It truly is a splendid day, is it not? The start of a new chapter in the lives of so many promising youths. Allow me to express my sincerest congratulations on your admittance into this fine academic institution. Oh. Thank you very much. So this is it. Thor's Military Academy. Founded by the legendary Emperor Dreykels himself. Thank you for your patience, sir. We've arrived at the Academy. Much obliged.
Please, if you'll allow me to take your luggage. That won't be necessary. I prefer to avoid standing out too much. But, sir... This isn't open for debate. Take whatever rest you need, then return to Berea Hard. As you wish. I shall be departing, sir. May your time spent in these hallowed halls be all you've hoped for. Please take care of yourself. to Thor's Military Academy. You're... let's see... Yes, you're the last of them. That'd make you... Breen Schwarzer, right? Uh, yes, that's me. It's a pleasure to meet you. But how do you know me? <laughs> it's a long story. Sweat the details right now. Is that your weapon you've got wrapped up? I'll need to hold on to that for the time being. Oh, right. It mentioned something about that in the guidebook. Thanks. We should be able to return it to you before long. You'll hardly even miss it. The entrance ceremony is going to be held in the auditorium. Just head straight back. You can't miss it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your first day at Thor's. We're glad to have you. I hope these next two years will be a fruitful time for you. Now, if I may, I'd like to say a few words in closing about this Academy's illustrious history. Thor's Military Academy was founded almost 220 years ago. Its founder, as I'm sure you're all aware, was none other than the great Emperor Dreykos. The very same Emperor who ended the War of the Lions and returned prosperity to the Erebonian Empire. Thirty years after becoming Emperor, in the later years of his life, he opened the doors of this institution. It was to be a place where young people like yourselves could learn the art of war. But with the mechanization of the military, many of our graduates now pursue careers outside the army. Our mission, however, remains the same. To prepare our students to fulfill Emperor Dreykel's famous mandate. Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. Though much has happened these past two and a quarter centuries, the world is still the domain of the young. Yet still the question remains, what qualities must one possess to become a part of its foundation? I hope this credo will serve as a guide and an inspiration to you during your two years at this academy. Go forth, my students. The world awaits the great things you will one day accomplish.
<laughs> no pressure, right? Yeah, no kidding. Though, this is Dreykel's the Lionheart we're talking about. He didn't earn his nickname by taking the easy road. Guess we've got more to worry about than just passing exams, huh? <laughs> I guess we do. I'm Elliot Craig. Nice to meet you. Reen Schwarzer. Hey, looks like we're sporting the same school fashion. Yeah, no idea what the red uniform is supposed to mean, though. Most of the other students are wearing green. Well, except for the ones in the white uniforms. Those must be the nobles. Looks that way. Though... Hmm? Something wrong? Nah, just thinking to myself. And that brings us to the close of Thor's 215th entrance ceremony. Next, please proceed to the class designated in your guidebook. There, you will go over the school rules as well as your class's curriculum. That is all. The class designated in our guidebook? I don't remember seeing anything like that. There wasn't any information on that in mine either. I just assumed they'd tell us where to go after the ceremony. All right! Students in red uniforms, if I can have your attention, please. By now, you're probably all confused. Where's my class assignment, you're probably thinking. That's perfectly understandable. Your situation is a little more complicated than the other students. But before I explain, I'd like all of you to join me for a special orienteering exercise. What? Did you mean an orientation exercise? Hmm. Worry not. Everything will be made clear soon enough. Now, right this way, if you would. Looks like we're gonna have to follow her if we want any answers. <sighs> what do you think this is all about? I have no idea, but we're not going to accomplish anything just standing around here. We should go with her. Is this place? Why is there a building this dilapidated on campus? It looks like it should have been torn down ages ago. <laughs> what does she even want us to do here? Uh, is she ever going to tell us what's going on? I suppose we'll just have to go inside and see for ourselves what awaits us. Th this place looks like some old haunted mansion or something. Now that you mention it, it kind of does.
So, these are our new underclassmen, huh? Yep. They've got a different set of hoops to jump through than we did, though. I'm just happy all our work's paying off. I'd hate to have put in a year's worth of effort for nothing. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Wait, when did you do any work? You were just slacking off the whole time. <laughs> Says the master slacker. Still, looks like Elisa's got some stiff competition. Quite a bevy of beauties they've got there. And I'm looking forward to getting intimately acquainted with each and every one of them. Oh, you know one of them? Er, wait. No, no, not these ones too. Stop flirting with every damn girl you lay eyes on. Do you have any idea how many guys at this school have gotten their hearts broken because of your libido? <laughs> Did... Did you just sneer at me? Oh, you did, didn't you? Come on now, no fighting, you two. Well, look who finally made it. Nice work, you two. You got our little chickadees all sorted out, I take it? Yep, they're all bright-eyed and ready to go. So from here on out, we're gonna have to give it all we've got to support this fledgling class. <laughs> now you sound the part of the student council president. Guess she's going all in. Well, they'd be in for a pretty rough time if we didn't help out a little. At least to start with, anyway. Everything's ready over there, right? You betcha. Just like the instructor asked. Can't help but feel a little sorry for them, though. Same here. They've got no idea what they're being tossed into. The class they've been picked for didn't even exist before this year. Guess all we can do is watch and see what they're made of, right? The name's Sarah Valestein. I'm the instructor in charge of Class 7, which means you get the pleasure of seeing me all year. Glad to finally meet you. Wait, Class 7? Uh, us? I'm not sure I understand. I wasn't told anything about this at enrollment. Excuse me, Instructor Sarah? I was under the impression that there were only five classes at this academy. And that students were split among them based on their social class and home region. Right you are, Miss Top Scorer on the Thor's entrance exam. Students in each year are divided into five classes, two for the nobility and three for commoners. And it's been that way for ages, right up through last year. But this year, we decided to shake things up a little. What? What do you... We now have a sixth class. Fittingly titled, Class 7. And in Class 7, we recognize no distinction between nobles and commoners. Wait, you just jumped straight from 5 to 7? Y you're really putting nobles and commoners in the same class? <laughs> this must be some kind of joke. And why is this the first I've heard of it? Well, uh, um, uh, who are you again? Machias Regnitz. And with all due respect, Instructor, it's ludicrous to intermix nobles and commoners like this. Must I be forced to spend my next two years shoulder to shoulder with those arrogant, stuck-up hedonists? 
Uh, you do know I'm not the one who made the decision, right? Besides, what's the big deal anyway? You're all kids. Can't you all just get along or something? Is it just get along? <laughs> and how would you propose we do that? <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, nothing much. I just find the irony of your behavior rather humorous. Is that so? It seems the scion of some noble house has left the comfort of his mansion to grace the unwashed masses with his wisdom. Please, my lord, do share your esteemed name with us so I can give you all the respect you deserve. Eusis Alborea. Not that I'd expect the name of an arrogant, stuck-up hedonist to lodge itself in that hard head of yours. He's from one of the four great houses. The son of Duke Alborea, Lord of the Kreutzen province in the southeast. Well, you don't get much more noble than that. Interesting. I'd heard the rumors. <sighs> do, do you expect me to be impressed? Your family lineage means nothing to me. I'll never bend my knee to the likes of... Okay, okay, that's enough. I'm sure a couple of you have a few grievances, but now's not the time. I'll hear your complaints later. Right now, you've got your orienteering exercise, and far be it for me to keep you from our fun little icebreaker. <sighs> you mentioned this orienteering exercise earlier? What exactly does that involve? It's a form of outdoor competition, isn't it? Something like a cross between a map reading exercise and a scavenger hunt? Is that why they asked us to hand over our weapons at the gate? Nothing gets by you, does it? Spoil the fun, so let's get started, shall we? What? <gasps> oh, crap. What? Cheating. You're going with them and that's that. What's the point in having an icebreaker if you don't make a couple of new friends? Ugh, lame. out from under us. I can't believe I fell for such an obvious trap. Does this mean there's a series of catacombs beneath the school grounds then? What does that woman think she's playing at? jump out of my chest. Hey, Reen, are you... Okay... a bit awkward. Yes, 
I'm really sorry about that. Still, I'm just glad you're okay. That's what's really important here, right? hit the bottom, things can only improve. I hope. What is this place anyway? I was wondering the same thing. We should check out those tables. Is this? It's coming from the devices we received with the Academy Guidebook. It seems to be some sort of portable ornament. Right you are. These handy little devices are a special kind of battle ornament. Is that Miss Valestina? So these devices have built-in communications functionality then? Wait, don't tell me these things are... New model battle ornaments made through a partnership between the Epstein Foundation and Reinford Company. Newly made fifth generation battle ornaments, in fact. They're called Arcus units. Arcus. So these are battle ornaments. That means they'll allow us to use arts, right? Sure will. Just set a quartz into one of its slots and you can use arts all the live long day. Which is why I've prepared enough quartz for each and every one of you. The weapons you brought are all here too. Each package neatly along a little box containing the quartz. Find yours and try setting the quartz into your arcus. Hmm. I suppose it can't hurt to try. <laughs> <laughs> 